What is going on Nitro Gang? And welcome to the Nitro Kitchen. Now in this video, I am hoping to eat eggs right out of the cooling head of this most significantly famous and collectible OS-12 CVX engine. <laughs> We got ourselves the proper cooking ingredients. Nitro fuel, we got a nitro motor, we got my hat on, and of course, we have ourselves a couple eggs over here. I am going to attempt to cook another egg in the cooling head of this motor. Now I say another egg. You wanna know why I say another egg? Have I cooked an egg before and eaten it? Yes, yes I have. In fact, you see this gold-plated fork? This is directly from Donald Trump, okay? Because on this channel, we run rich, we run loud, and we use our nitros to cook eggs when we can. Now I will make up myself a nice little omelet. Gonna use a little bit of aluminum foil, but at the end of the day, we're gonna have some fun with nitro. Now I understand the Electra gang out there might be burning down lipos, but we will be cooking with nitro. Before we pour some egg in there, let me explain what I plan on doing. This isn't the first time I've cooked an egg in a cooling head. In fact, take a look at this picture. Yep, I ate it right out of this motor and today we're going to do it again. Now I wanna give you a little update on this vintage Team Losi Triple XNT. This is the ready to run graphite baby. 0.12 engine, pull start. We do have a slight situation here with what's known as relatively low compression. Right now there seems to be okay compression, but I just put some oil in it. And also, we have no battery in the back. So I'm going to have to move the carb open with my fingers here. This is an old style JST plug. Not that easy to get a modern rechargeable battery pack for. I have to source an old one to begin with at this point in terms of a double A. I don't have the body, but the body doesn't matter. We just need this open cooling head. Now modern engines really don't have a giant cavity like this. Is it good for cooling? I have no idea. What it is good for is scrambling some eggs and putting it inside. Now the goal, the goal, I'm gonna tell you guys, this might be a little bit of a situation. I have to get this motor up to 155 degrees internally to cook the egg. Now the last time I did it, it was pretty much winter outside. Today, it's not winter, but it's about, I would say, 60 degrees outside here. I'm going to have to maintain a very high RPM somehow, and hopefully the motor does not shut down, because guess what, guys? If I have an egg inside there, I'm not gonna be able to put the glow driver in again. Well, I probably will be, but I'm gonna have glow driver egg. I don't want glow driver eggs. I want nitro eggs. From my prior experience of cooking eggs and nitros, I know that the first thing that will happen to the egg, it will pour out and escape from the cooling fin. So I need to have some kind of cover over the cooling head itself. So basically I just have a piece of aluminum foil. I folded it up. I'm doing this, um, you know, on the run as much as I possibly can, you know, cause let's face it, how much experience could a person actually have with cooking eggs and nitro motors? The real answer is not that much, but we will find out. Once I wrap it around here, I will attempt to maybe fold the top a little bit or trim it. But first I need to make sure that the actual slots in the cooling head, nothing can seep out of them. Okay, I did what I could. Let me see, I'm gonna rip the top there a little bit to get the egg in there. Also, the egg tends to pour out. So I want the egg to have a little bit of a, uh, a protector, I guess, a sleeve from cooking. You see right here, I already made a, made a mistake. This part is too short over here. It's going to leak out here from the top. By the way, I wanna say special thanks to all my Patreon supporters, my channel members. It's because of everyone like you that watches these videos, I'm able to, well, destroy eggs by Nitro and do kind of, I would say, fun videos like this. Meanwhile, people are buying more electrics, killing more lipos. You're not gonna learn anything there. Here, what you're gonna learn is, I'll tell you guys what you're gonna learn. You're going to learn whether you can cook eggs in your nitro. Guess what? 
if there's an apocalypse and we run out of electricity or gas, as you all know, you can't kill nitro. You just have to have enough of the bones brew. Last time I cracked the egg directly over the motor. But you know what? I didn't get it. Oh my God, what the hell happened to this egg? This egg is already cooked. Someone broke it. I have to go get a fresh egg. Be right back. Cut, take two, take 89. Hold on a second. One grocery store later, we have ourselves another dozen eggs. Hold on a second. Where the hell did this one go? Sickening. Tricked me somehow. Let's take one egg. We're going to start with one. I will make a little bit of a nitro omelet, so to say. Let's make it happen, guys. There we go. The nitro chef is in the house. What do you think about that? I'm going to add a little bit of salt, of course. You want your nitro eggs to taste delicious, don't you? Yeah. Make a little omelet there. Not really the master egg beater, but I have some experience. You really want to talk about master beaters, ask the Arma gang. Ask them, they'll know all about master beating. Here we go. That might be a little bit too much egg, guys. This is too much volume to put into the cooling head, but I'll pour what I can. Maybe I'll even get a funnel. I think we should get a funnel. We're going to make this scientific. Let's make it happen guys i'm gonna be honest with you this is going to be the toughest part this motor compression wise i'm gonna have to keep it kind of high rpm let's see also one way bearing as i said it's a slip job we have to get the motor up to at least 200 degrees so i could pour this in with a funnel otherwise um well i don't like my eggs too runny you know let's see what we got it should fire up i'm gonna prime it a little there Okay, that should be good. I see fuel. I'll have to do on the spot tuning adjustments as well. There we go. There we go. Fired it up. Man, ton of smoke. I need to warm this motor up, guys. Ton of oil coming out the bottom there. Unfortunately, temperature more it's not that easy guys doing this you know what let's clean it out we need to get that high temperature going all right it's still it's still rich okay there we go ton of oil coming out there from the pipe man the kind of stuff i do for this channel is insane huh yeah Let's hope we don't kill the motor too much though. Check it out, let's check it out. Some time has passed. See what we got. All right, let's do it guys. It's time. Either way, it shut down, but it's steaming. I could smell, I could smell the eggs, guys. 
I'm gonna let it stay. It shut down, but you know what? Like, there's no way I can restart it like this. Check this out. Like, I would have to have, you know, I don't know if it killed itself, my dudes. I'm gonna be quite sad, but eggs got cooked. I see in the middle of the eggs over there, it's about 150, some of those temperatures. Anything 150 and over, the eggs are fully cooked, guys. So, let's hope we didn't kill the nitro motor. Looks pretty normal in there, I gotta say. Look at that egg job. I'm about to taste the most pure, organic, grass, nitro-fed eggs directly from the cooling head of this OS12 CVX engine. We got the fork. Just cooked it in here. You saw it, guys. The eggs. The eggs are ready. I scrambled them directly in this engine. All right. Let's take a, a little bit of a bite, okay? This is going to be super beyond sickening. The stuff I do for this channel. No one's going to do this stuff, okay? Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Got a little spoon over there. I mean, fork. What the hell am I talking about? Fork to mouth. You guys know about organic food farming? This is nitro to mouth. There you go. Mmm. Honestly, it seems well cooked. Seems well cooked to me. Not bad. Let's get the eggs from a different angle. Man, I see they penetrated quite well. But I did eat some of it already. Damn. All of it kind of went in. It boiled out. The temperature was too hot when I first started doing this, but it's all right, my dudes. You saw me eat some of it. You know what? Let's remove the foil. Let's see what happened. Oh, yeah. So, if I didn't kill this engine, we will do another egg cook-off. Oh, man. Uh, that is what you call an egg cooling head. You ever had egg drop soup? This is nitro drop. Nitro drop, baby. Okay. How am I going to eat this? Let me see if I can. Right, here we go. Got some over there. Oh, fell off, fell off. What about this piece right there? That looks crispy. Oh, yeah. That's crispy right there. I got to tell you. A lot of exhaust on that one, guys. A lot of exhaust that tricked me. Got to figure out a, a bigger engine to cook eggs in. I think for now, I think for now, that was gross. We've proved that for the most part, you can cook eggs in your nitro cooling head, okay? Where are you going to see this, guys? Once again, I want to say uh, special thanks to my channel members, my Patreon supporters, all the viewers out there. Thank you for helping me keep this channel afloat. You understand? Every other week is not a little lame child crawler on this channel. We have nitros here. And soon, we're going to get more nitros. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like. Comment. Tell me what you thought. Tell me what else you think I should cook. Or what other car or motor I should use. And I will make it happen. Because that is what happens on the Nitro Gang channel. See you later, guys. Boom! And this, guys, is a real sickening FG. What the Nitro Gang is cooking. Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order.